what is up guys it is cold it's like 30 35 degrees maybe right now but we're gonna get this uh last probably gonna be the last time that uh we start this thing up 85 cold start before we send it off and take the engine out send it down to dsp um, they're gonna build us 402 so i'll try to keep you guys updated with all that but we're gonna get the engine sent down to dsp um hopefully we can get you guys some uh footages and stuff from them when they're building the motor definitely probably some pictures and things like that but uh it's cold i want to get this uh, motor out before it's too cold before it's snowing too bad but i've got to clean the shop up in here because i've got stuff just kind of stored i've got this rack over here while i want to keep parts if you got a family life you know what it's like when you got shit like this <laughs> but uh yeah always got stuff coming out to the garage and uh, getting put out here and just sitting so I need to get that rack cleared off. I need to get the uh, The car situated I gotta go get a couple jack stands from uh, Harbor Freight because I need two more and I just want to get the car up lifted up and uh, hopefully Hopefully we can get it to where we can work on it. I don't know how much I'm really gonna take off of it but uh, yeah We're gonna go to Harbor Freight grab those jack stands get started. Oh, that E85 life, dude. Hell yeah. Still runs. We ain't pulling it out because it's blown up. We're pulling it out so we can go faster. So, yeah, let's go get these other jack stands. I don't lie away from changing over In the moonlight I Can't kill this feeling sober So we start to come alive judgmental and that was kind of sketchy dude usually when I see people like that around where I live they're up to no good like twitching all over the place can't control themselves it could be a disorder don't get me wrong but somebody like just twitching all over the place and then they're buying bolt cutters sketchy world I say I ain't gonna make no judgment gonna have to sit room enough for my my cherry picker to come in and uh, get the motor out get it up on jack stands and see what else we can take off I just kind of cleared off the shelf I got some bins for parts and then down here I put the heads in the LSA and wrap them up in a bag and put them on there until I get the motor back but yeah I gotta get this thing up on jack stands and uh, yeah, we should be good to go. But uh, yeah, let's do it. What's up, y'all? So we got the car uh, all situated. I changed up the jack stand position because I didn't like where they were. I got it basically set up because I need to do the brakes. Um, we need to do a bunch of other stuff to this thing. Obviously be able to get the exhaust out and stuff like that. 
Uh, probably going to change it up with this 327 in the car. This is a fresh one. Um, so that's just the, uh, you can kind of see there, 327, 327 diff. That one's, uh, that diff right there is uh, really fresh. So that came out of a really low mile uh, Camaro. So we're going to put it in this car. Now I'm probably going to ditch the 345. If you guys don't know anything about this car and it's your first time visiting the channel, um, this is just a stock, stock LSA, stock 1.9, uh, BTR boost cam. Um, it's got SPS cylinder heads, poured polished, and then it's just a stock bottom end. So basically the whole reason why you're seeing this car um, off the ground with the cherry picker, things like that, is because we're gonna be taking the motor out. We're gonna be sending it down to uh, Driven Speed Performance, Shea down there, DSP. Uh, he's down in Alabama, so. He's going to be building the bottom end in this thing. Probably going to do a 402. That's our plan anyways for right now. Full rotating assembly. Uh, we're still using the 6.0 block that's in this car. Obviously, you guys see it still runs. So we're not pulling it out because it's blown up or anything. We're just pulling it out because we want to make more power. So the plan is to uh, crank up the boost on this thing. As you can see right now, it's still got this old truck style. So we're going to change over to the CTSV style. Uh, the car is on E85. So... Yeah, should be a lot of fun. Basically, the reason that I'm doing it is because 600, I mean, I have fun with the 600, and 600's a lot of fun, um, but I just want to make more. So I'm going to try to make, uh, on boost only, I'm going to try to make at least 800 um, before we spray it, if we put the plate on it and, and spray it. But uh, we're just going to see how it progresses. But the transmission, I don't know what we're going to do. I mean, we're probably going to end up having to build that thing. Uh, everybody's like, oh, you better build the tranny. I get it. I should probably build the tranny. But uh, we're going to see. I don't have any issues right now with it. Um, the only issues I've ever had is when I let it uh, get too high RPM when I'm manually shifting it, and it'll hang because of the, the timing, whatever. So I just have to uh, shift it a little sooner, but I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, we're definitely going to end up having issues with it making more power probably. Um, but hopefully my tuner, uh, Matt Kaiser, over at Kaiser Motorsports, uh, he's the guy that's always been helping me. So hopefully we can get that situated. If it doesn't last, it doesn't last, and uh, we'll end up uh, doing stuff to it. So I just want to thank you guys for uh, following the channel. If you're a fan of the G8, it's about to get a lot faster, and uh, I'm, I'm probably going to have a lot of fun with it next year. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited for it. So if you got any questions, definitely put them below. Uh, consider subscribing if you want to subscribe. Uh, there's going to be a lot more videos. Uh, it's cold right now. I don't have the heater on or nothing like that. It's Sunday, so I'm not going to tear into this. I'm just going to upload this video and uh, kind of give you guys an update on what's going on with the car. And uh, there's a lot of stuff coming. We're still going to do a lot of uh, car car reviews, things like that, track content. But uh, my main focus right now is going to be getting this car a lot faster and uh, just going out and having some fun with it. You know, so the scene up here is growing. I hope it keeps growing. I keep getting messages. More and more cars are getting bought, built and things like that so it makes me really excited a lot of my buddies are building the cars a lot of other people around here either have fast cars or they're building them so next year should be a lot of fun and the content that's coming up on building this thing uh, should be pretty cool too so we're going to make sure it uh, stays together and I uh, just want to thank uh, Shay down at DSP uh, my tuner Matt Kaiser everybody who supports me supports the channel um, but yeah we're going to have more content for you guys but uh, this is definitely going to be a bit of the main content coming up. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. But uh, I'm going to go upload this video. And then uh, we'll get some more stuff coming for y'all. Thank y'all. Peace out.